A shingle shortage situation. <laughs> it's taken nearly two to three times as long for roofing companies to get a hold of those materials. And with more people coming to Southwest Florida for a slice of paradise, that demand rises. Fox 4's Caitlin Knapp actually spoke with one Cape Coral contractor who says shingles for the next three months are already spoken for. You can see every street that you drive down in Cape Coral. There's a new construction house coming. New construction and a new roof means the need for shingles. I think what people aren't really realizing is, yes, there is a shortage, but it's due to the overwhelming, unprecedented demand. A demand that's forcing projects to take even longer for companies like Trademark Roofing. Normally, it would take about a month to put a roof on a house like this between materials and installing it. But Tristan Starbird with Trademark Roofing says it's taking nearly four months to just get shingles here to the warehouse. We probably had to order these shingles in February and we did this install in April. Starbird says the shortage is for every type. It doesn't matter if it's a shingle roof, a metal roof, a TPO roof, a tile roof. Uh, materials are, uh, are getting scarce and it's, and it's really due to the demand more than anything. Permit numbers tell the story of demand. Last month, the city of Cape Coral saw 750 roofing permit applications. In Fort Myers, only 87. The issue goes beyond shingles. A few months back, we were having trouble with fence set for tile work and stuff like that. Starbird says his company has still been able to move forward and put roofs on houses, though he's anticipating what could happen if Southwest Florida sees a hurricane. There's gonna be a lot of tarps on roofs. There's gonna be a lot of shrink wrap on roofs uh, waiting waiting for materials, waiting for insurance companies to uh, settle claims and so forth. It's hard to tell when all this could level out, but Starbird believes. I would think that we're gonna see an improvement before the end of the year, uh, but obviously very difficult to forecast that. We're not sure. In Cape Coral, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4. Well, in Orlando, Steph.